Alright guys, here we go here. Uh, don't know, thought I should make a video, I haven't made one for a while. And as the end of FIFA 12 and I don't really play on my team anymore. So I'd just show you what my team looks like at the moment. I've got 14k coins but that's not really anything. So I'm going to go through all my squads. Uh, might as well start with this one, this was going to be the last one, this is the last one but whatever. Uh, this squad, cheap. This, this is the kind of squads that really work well in this game. Don't really need to tell you that now, you probably know that. Uh, this, I made this one a bit of fun really. They all get 9 chem except this guy because he's in the wrong formation. But, yeah, you know most of these players by now. Angwa who's shit hot fast, 91 pace. Same as Ferreira, eight, oh shit, 81 pace in centre back. Is also pretty solid. And we got this other centre back with 72 pace, who just kind of makes up chemistry, but he's actually a boss as well. And non informed Cohen Trow. I say that because I have him informed Cohen Trow as well. He is a fucking monster. Look at all his stats, all above 70. I'm not going to do too in depth. The highlights of this team are the front three. Jeffrin is the best player on the game. That's what you need to know. Four star skills, best player on the game. Calleon, best striker probably on the game. And Castro is probably the best left winger. That's all you need to know. Those three up front, put them together. Fucking brilliant team. I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to speed through some of the shit squads. And move on to some of the better squads. Uh, this squad, never lost a game with this squad. I've lost my bench though, don't know where that's gone. Probably when I sold a lot of my teams. I did have a full 15 squad club thing. But I sold a few of them to make my best team, which I'll show you at the end. Which you better stay around for. It's a pretty sick team. Some of you might see it on Twitter. This team, pretty solid. It's just a little Polish, cheap Polish place. This guy's got four star skills and he's a monster on the left mid. Other than that, there's no massive highlights. And the guy up front, Sakura, with 86 pace, is also a monster. There's nothing more about that team, really. They all get bright green links, which means they've all got sick chemistry. And that's it, really. Nothing more to say about that team. Bronze squads from all the same league and most of them same nationality generally really good and I usually win with them uh, next squad we'll move on to is this one uh, this is another team I kind of made for fun see they're rocking the Korean bench but yeah there's nothing special about this team really except from these front two I made it around this guy and he has got the beastiest volley of a bronze player I've ever seen, 86 pace as well, and this guy with his 91 pace and 68 dribbling is a monster as well, and actually this watermelon guy in centre mid, sick all round stats for a bronze, is really good as well, that's it really for this team, no one else in this team is anything particularly special, but this team, don't think I've lost many games with this team, I haven't played many games with it either because it's a bit boring just pace abusing, even though that is the best way to win. I keep fucking backing out, fuck's sake. But yeah, that is that is a good team. If you want to win some games, we will move on. I don't even fucking clue what this team... Uh, I don't think that's even a team. I think it used to be a team with Man of the Match, Gerard. But I don't really know what's going on with there. So we're just going to leave that and pretend that wasn't there. This team is the first team I made on Ultimate Team. And I've had it since the start. And it's my favourite team still. Uh, don't know what's going on on the bench there, I'll just forget you, you saw that. Uh, there is nothing I can say, so from the left, like there's a bit of pace, bit of skill in this team. 90 pace left mid and got two left mids, two right backs in the squad. Because YOLO, and it looks like they're all quite slow from their pace, but they've all got solid pace in them. A really good team. And I would suggest this team to anyone really, this is probably my favourite team I've ever used. And I don't think I've used team because this game is pretty poor for players that I like. I like. I don't, I don't really know what I like. Three star skills are my favourite players usually. So, which teams haven't we looked at? We've seen that team. We'll look at this top team. My favourite team that isn't bronze, I'd say, I suppose. Uh, got my favourite player in here. This right attacking mid, Abwo, is by far, in my opinion, the best player on the game. As you can see, I've only played two games. I play most of my games against friends. I can't be asked to play online. So I just get sweated against. And this guy is my favourite goalkeeper on the game, Bokutra. He has 80 reflexes. He stands pretty tall. 
He's only 6'1", actually. I thought he was taller, but he's like Superman. And go looks a bit like Superman, too. Uh, this team's just monstrous. 88 Ben Belanda with his 4-star skills, sorry. And 4 stats above 85, which is monstrous. He's a beastie CDM, even though he's normally a cam, and he is better at cam. And then there's this Mulan Gooey guy who's a monster as well. Nothing more about that team. It's my African team with an Argentinian left back. And it is monstrous. Next team. How many teams have we got left? I think there's four teams, three teams left. So we'll look at this team called Sweaty Silver because it is a fucking sweaty ass team. Uh, I'll show you the bench for this as well. Molina, Kim Ji Wu, whatever his name is. And yeah, they are my substitutes really. I've got a couple of other substitutes, but they're really my subs for this team, especially Jer. If I, have, if I was going to get Kapadza in form, Kapadza, but I couldn't be asked. For a team I didn't use that much, but you just look at the pace 82. Oh, fuck me. 82, 77, 86, 93, 93, 80. Not so fast, but he's got 4 star, I think. Uh, this guy's got 64, but he's got a monster of a shot. Uh, 99 pace. I think he has 91 pace normally. 85 pace. And then this guy up front, best, one of the best strikers. Best in form, I've used, I'd reckon. Him and Enino. This team, though, another team, if you want to just sweat East. Sweat it out and win another team you can win good with. Definitely there. Oh, I keep doing that. We've got six minutes. I'll keep going on. So, two teams left now. So, we'll look at this team. And I really like this team as well. Actually, I suppose I've, I've found... I'm not that good at FIFA. You'll see, you can see my record. It's fucking terrible. I'm not that good at FIFA, so it's hard for me to find teams I'm good with. But this team I am good with. I got my Eredivisie bench there, but team of the season, team of the season Zoa, uh, bronze in form centre backs. I got these Norwegians over here, and they're all boss. This host of guys four star. He's a monster. He's Hoff's sick long shot on him. Eriksson is uh, absolutely a monster. You could put him up front, and he'd be insane. Peters is just solid as is Stecker Neveld. Sorry. Uh, Dost. Ridiculous. He's, he's definitely faster than 80 pace. And with 94 shooting, you cannot go wrong. 89 heading as well. And Juracic, 4 star skiller. Is normally a centre mid, I think. So I don't know how I got him at centre forward slash striker. But he is pretty sick going forward. And then this guy, is it Sig? Sig Porson? I don't know. I don't know how to say it to be honest, but I brought him in. I did originally have this bronze guy down here and there, and he's pretty good as well. But I ch ch decided to put a silver guard this so I could actually beat my friends who have full gold teams. And he's pretty pretty decent for an Icelandic guy. And fucking back out again. But I'll show you the main event squad is this one here. And uh, yeah, that's my team. Got Turan, Pereira, Kaka, Kone, and people like that on the bench as backup. But the main squad 87 Lopez, international man of the match, Ramos, who is the best centre back on the game, I'd say. With sick dribbling, passing. He's basically a centre mid, right back, striker, all into one, really. You can't go wrong. All his stats at one over 82. Kern Trow. All stats is at 1 over 80 and it's 76 shooting is not exactly bad for a left back. He is possibly the best left back on the game. Maybe Jordi Alba is pretty good as well. 88 Pepe, you might remember I got him in a pack. I sold him for like 120k or something like that and I bought him again for 80k. So you can't go wrong with 77 pace and 93 defending. Danny Alves, I want to get 91 Danny Alves but I ran out of coins making that team with Dost. And I'm not going to be playing on my team anymore. So I'm not going to get 91 Danny Alves. But he was who was going to play there. And I was eventually going to make this team a little bit better with 91 Falcao as well. But, you know, Danny Alves, you can't go wrong. Danny Alves, brilliant stats as well. Uh, Kadira, best centre mid, in my opinion, on the game. It, man of match, Kadira, that is. He's just a solid, solid player. All his stats are good with that. Decent passing, decent shooting, great defensive work right there as well. Uh, 
in, uh, this, uh, so I'd say normal Ertzel is better actually. But look at the fucking state of having an 88 black Ertzel in your team. Looks ridiculous. And then 86 Diego is a monster, long shots especially. And it's four star skills. We've got five star skills of Sanchez here, blue Sanchez. There's 81 pace as well. His finishing is monstrous. You cannot go wrong with him. He's probably top, top best team of the season I've used probably. I don't really like informed. Man of the match Pedro is fucking shocking. Normal Pedro or Diego Castro any day. But look at having fucking five different coloured players or whatever in my club. That's why this I have this team. I don't win with this team really. I think I've won one game out of like four or something with this team. I haven't had it that long. And I don't play on my team anymore. I just play clubs. Uh, final player is Falcao. I think this is third in form possibly. He's got like eight bloody in forms it seems. He's got decent pace. Brilliant stats really. And his four star skills as well. I already looked at the bench. Arda Turan is the only player of significance on the bench really. He's a crap winger. But I got him for like fucking literally shit all. Yeah, 17k. So. Oh, I just nearly fell off my chair. Uh, yeah, so uh, just for watching guys. On FIFA 13 I might actually upload. If I can actually be asked at all. But to be honest, I don't know if I will. I will try and upload at least some on FIFA 13. Uh, anyone want to see FIFA 12 clubs? Possibly. That's all I do when I'm on Xbox now. And um, I'm probably upload some COD at some point because I don't really. I just want to upload. Um, cheers for watching. Subscribe if you want. I don't really care. Follow on Twitter. That's actually what I care about more. If you follow me on Twitter. So. Uh, I was going to say cheers for watching, and I'll see you all some other time, apart for like five weeks' time when I actually decide to make another video.